This video is one of two that will help you set your Facebook settings and help you control who you share your information with. This video will walk you through your account settings and will talk about how to protect your privacy by following some simple actions. Make sure you also watch the video about setting your privacy settings. Let's get started. Start by logging into Facebook with your email address and password as usual. The first page you see is your news feed. Click the drop down arrow in the top right corner. This is where you can see and edit your account and privacy settings. Click on account settings. This is where you can set up your account the way you want it. On this page you will see your account information like your name and email address. Take a look at your password. This page will tell you how long it's been since you changed your password. It's important to change your password often. You may want to write down your password and store it in a safe place away from your computer. Now click on security. That's the yellow badge on the left. This section will help you set up some safe settings to prevent your account from being used by others. To change each of these settings you will need to click edit first. Start by setting up secure browsing. Secure means safe. Setting up secure browsing will let you use Facebook on a safe connection when possible. It's a good idea to enable secure browsing. You can check to see if it's set up by looking for HTTPS in the web address here. The S means secure. Next, you can set up login notifications. By enabling this section, Facebook will tell you by email if your account is logged into from a computer you haven't used before. This may mean that someone else is trying to log into your account. Next, you can set up login approvals. By enabling this section, you're asking Facebook to lock your account if someone tries to log in from a computer you haven't used before. You can only unlock your account by entering the code Facebook sends to your mobile device. By setting up login notifications or login approvals, you can protect your account from being used by someone else. If you use Facebook apps like Skype or Xbox, this next section is for you. Setting up an app password on an app will let you use it without logging into your Facebook account. This is good if you want to use a Facebook app on your Xbox or on a public computer like in a library. If you want this protection, click Generate App Passwords and follow the steps. This section is not for everyone, so feel free to skip it. Next, you'll see a list of recognized devices. If you have login notifications set up, this section will list all the computers that you've used Facebook with before. Next, the Active Sessions section will tell you where you are currently logged in from. Check to make sure this information is correct. If it isn't, you may have forgotten to log out of another computer, or someone else may have access to your Facebook account. To be safe, you should change your email address and your password. And finally, if you want to leave Facebook, this is where you can deactivate your Facebook account. Clicking this button will hide your profile and photos from everyone. But remember, all your posts and pictures in Facebook will always be there, just in case you ever want to come back. With this in mind, always be careful what you post. Facebook can be a fun place to connect and share with your friends. You can be safe online by using the safety settings available to you to protect yourself and your information. Double check your settings often, because Facebook may make changes that affect your settings. For more information about how you can be safe online, visit ICanBeSafeOnline.com or join us on Facebook and Twitter at SafeOnlineCLBC.